Hello, it is Saturday, January 13th, 2024. I'm Chris Remo, and welcome back to the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. It is a Saturday crossword, which means we're going to be solving a tricky, themeless puzzle, very possibly the trickiest puzzle of the week. That's sometimes how it goes, although I think it's safe to say, based on uh, looking at plenty of discussion in the New York Times, sorry, in the Daily Solve Discord chat server, um, people tend to I don't know. People tend to be fairly split over whether they find Friday or Saturday more difficult. It seems to be as much a stylistic thing as sort of pure classic difficulty. Anyway, uh, let's get on with it. This uh, potentially tricky edition of The Daily Solve has been brought to us by Josh Allen, Overfull Hitbox, Jake Rodkin, and as always, the indomitable Shulmaster. Uh, Those four are benefactors of The Daily Solve Patreon campaign, which means they support this channel directly and bring us this series And for that, I'm very grateful. So thank you to them. Thank you to everybody who's a patron of the Daily Self Patreon campaign at any level. I really do appreciate it. And it does keep this whole thing going. So thank you. Thank you to them. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can head over to patreon.com slash daily solve or click the link in the description field underneath the video where you can find the bonus videos available to patrons. And that includes this week's mini puzzle pseudo speed solve, which, um, which I think went up last night, my time. So, um, so do look forward to that if you're a patron or, or maybe you've already watched it. Who knows? Uh, in any case, it's there. There's also the Daily Solve official mug for benefactors. Um, and the uh, other way to help the channel in a, uh, in a, uh, well, for free is to subscribe on YouTube, like the videos, comment if you feel so moved. Those things are all helpful. And then finally, there is that Discord server that I mentioned a moment ago, a nice friendly chat community that you can join with a description field link as well. And also, as a small sort of housekeeping note, uh, I apologize. Um, a few people reached out to wonder why the videos this week were going up so much later than they ordinarily do. And it's because I was having severe internet issues uh, here at, at home uh, to the point where the videos were taking some six hours to upload. It was quite ridiculous. So I have I had to buy new router equipment and set up a new Wi-Fi network. And it seems to have fixed it, I think. So the videos should be going up at the normal time. That's been, it's been working for a day or two. So anyway, that is what was behind that. And now let's get on to the crossword. It is time for a Saturday themeless by Huang Kim Vu, who's constructed, I think, around 10 puzzles for the New York Times. And it was edited, as always, by Will Shorts. So let's start solving, see how we manage with this tricky themeless. They have lots of drawings. Well, my first thought is maybe lottos, you know, sort of random drawings um, to win prizes. But that was just my first thought. I mean, my, you know, the, the, on especially on a Friday or Saturday, when I see they have lots of drawings, what I don't think is a museum or something like that. I don't think of a drawing, the most obvious sense of that word. Um, I try and think of something else. And in this case, that would be my thought. But let's see. Let's see if we can confirm or deny it. Blank Leslie, Los Angeles spark star in the Basketball Hall of Fame. Unsurprisingly, I don't know. Uh, Their notable behavior is actually involuntary, like fainting. Uh, Is it referring to fainting goats? Their notable behavior is actually involuntary, like like fainting. Hmm. I'm not sure what that's getting at exactly. Sorry, I just keep thinking of fainting goats, but I don't, I don't think that'll be the answer. And it obviously it wouldn't fit anyway. Arg, why bother? This is all pointless. I don't know. Um, there are probably quite a few po- different ways to enter that a similar sentiment. I'm not sure which it is. Crag, okay, Tor. So a mountain, uh, a, a sort of, uh, you know, c- rocky, craggy sort of mountain, I would think. Uh, that's, that's a point in favor of Lottos. Let's see if we can get any more. Till portion. Ones, so a till, uh, in which one collects cash, um, for, in a retail situation or something like that, could have a $1 bill portion. Escort, in a way. See home? You escort someone, you see them home? I don't, I don't know if that's right. I mean, it's, I think there probably are a number of possibilities here, but these crosses feel good to me, which is one of the reasons I, I typed it in these big, to, big to do. Yeah. I think this might, well, the C bit anyway, might be right because a big do could be a soiree. So a sort of fancy evening party. 
And then something unlocked with Face ID, an iPhone uh, is unlocked with Face ID, which is a sort of biometric kind of password equivalent. Okay, uh, Lisa Leslie, I, I guess. I um, can't really think of any other names that would fit here. So this is probably Lisa Leslie, Los Angeles Spark Star. Let's see. Something you might kick. Kick. You might kick ass, I guess. Let's see if that... Ooh, ooh, sorry. It's falling off my desk here. Uh, sorry, so what was this? Oh, opossums. Their notable behavior is actually involuntary, like fainting. I see. So the, the idea of playing dead... Uh, when, a, when an opossum plays dead, that's an involuntary action rather than a sort of so, something intentional that the creature is is consciously deciding to do. I think that's what's being suggested there. Arg, why bother? So, bother? so this is correct. Maybe it's this is pointless. Why did I think it had to be all? This is all pointless. I don't know. It was just the first thing that came to mind, but I think this might actually be the answer. Let's look at the crosses. Fam member. A member of the family could be sis, sister. And I'll be right with you. Just a moment. Yeah, that looks like it fits. Ascribe as blame. Impute. You impute blame to somebody. You ascribe it to them. Uh, you assign it. Let's see. Culture writer Tolentino. Oh, Gia Tolentino is a, is a writer. I don't think... I mean, I might have read a few articles of hers, perhaps. Let's see. How synchronized swimmers move. They move as one. That's the whole idea there. Perfectly in sync. Uh, w if you're wounded, you could be stung. There we go. And reptile popular as a pet. Iguana. People do often keep iguanas as pets. There we go. If you couldn't get enough of something, you ate it up. And then work to overcome a late start would be... I don't know. What about this one? Blank stroker, Tony winning actress for 2019's Oklahoma. Not a clue. All right. Let's 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 go back up here. Because... See home actually is starting to look pretty, pretty correct. Sit blank mourn. All right. So this would be in the Jewish religion. You would sit, sit Shiva for somebody in more uh, process of, of grievance or of grieving, I guess, more accurately. Grievance is maybe the wrong word. Um, okay. Iwo Jima. There we go. The island. And then must give, if one must give something, one... I must give it. I owe two. Must give you this. I owe this to you. Yeah, I think that's right. Owe two. You must give. I think that's correct. If you, in the sense, if you said, I must give you this money, I, I, I must give you this money. I owe to you this money. I mean, phrasing it in that exact way is a bit awkward. You would say, I owe this money to you. Um, but I'm putting it together so that we can cleanly replace it in the sentence and, and give an example of how this word would work. But I think that's I think that's correct, or at least it could be correct. That's why you get the big bucks and not me. I have. You've. Not quite sure. Sorry. Images on some Florida license plates. I don't know. It could be some kind of state symbol or a tree or a nat some other natural feature. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay. Word after clip or walk. Clip-ons or walk-ons. So clip-ons in the sense of could be clip-on ties or clip-on earrings and then walk-ons in the sense of a, of a walk-on roll maybe in a film or something. Okay. Where the Brahmaputra flows. Um, the river, clearly. Oh, why can't I think of what this would be? That's frustrating. Tamil, Tibet. Um, what about this? Tendencies. Tendencies. You have tendencies to do something. You have... I don't know. Ah, I can't think of this either. Mini albums for short, EPs, extended play albums. So these are shorter than LPs, long play. With you know, an LP would be a, a long playing album, a full length album, and then an EP uh, only has a few songs typically. Smitten could be enraptured or in. Oh, I don't know. Oh, can't think. That's why you get the big bucks and not me. I 
I have my, hmm, I still can't quite get it. And the images on some Florida license plates, not sure about that either. Emphatic agreement. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Wouldn't fit. Yes. Yes. I mean, it could simply be two yeses. I don't know. It probably starts with yes. So this does look like I have my, I don't know. I can't, I just can't think what it is. I uh, don't know this person. Okay. Need to find somewhere else to, to go here. Um, all right. Abbott Elementary error. Okay. Well, not, not, not a clue. It'll be a, a U.S. television network, I assume, but I don't know what. Some bottles of wild turkey. Rye? Rye whiskey? I mean, I know, I know wild turkey is risky. I can't remember if it's rye or bourbon, but I, I'm thinking this, maybe, maybe they do both. Maybe that's why this is some bottles only are rye. I think that must be right. Annual event since 1949. Um, not sure offhand. Half of a Godfather cocktail along with whiskey. Right. I don't know. I wonder if I've had a, a Godfather cocktail. It's just whiskey and something else. I mean, in terms of things, it's a, it's a nice cross with rye because maybe you could make it with rye whiskey. Um, for something you'd put in a cocktail that would fit here with an R, it could be amaretto. I'm trying to think if there's something else that another cocktail ingredient I can think of, another sort of spirit or mixer that would that would fit here, or liqueur. Uh, chartreuse almost, but not quite. Uh, I think amaretto is not a bad guess. Let's see. That's oh the, oh if so that's interesting here it doesn't wouldn't start with you or I that's why you get the big bucks and not me oh above my pay grade above my pay grade ah okay that took me much too long there we go I mean usually that phrase has something at the beginning like it's above my pay grade or that's above my pay grade or what have you but in this case I think this is perfectly acceptable all right so oh manatees I guess must be on Florida license plates or some of them anyway as it says didn't know that. Abbott Elementary Air could be ABC, the American Broadcasting Corporation. Boy, that amaretto was very helpful. Trip before a delivery. Oh, a baby something. I mean, delivery of a, of a newborn is obviously what it's referring to here, but I'm not sure what the full, clue, full answer is. Again, once more. So ABC is the network. Okay, annual event since 1949. Um, yeah, just not sure. Sorry. Oh, the Emmys, maybe the, the award, the award show for what the Emmys are for television productions, right? Pretty sure that's right. So there we go. Okay. Trip before delivery, baby. I don't know what that is. I, I can't think. Comedian Wanda, Wanda Sykes. There we go. Who I think I first encountered in uh, Larry David's brilliant comedy, Curb Your Enthusiasm, in the, I think the very first season she was in. And I uh, just noticed the next and final season of that show is coming out soon. After 20 years of on and off production. Stoically endured misfortune. Oh, I see. Right. Okay. I first read this as a noun, as in misfortune that is stoically endured. But no, I think it's, it's a verb. It's saying one, I, you stoically endured misfortune. So uh, the endured is the sort of operative word here. So took, took it in stride. No, no, not quite. I really thought that was going to be the answer, but I think took, it'll start with took. Uh, caped crusader question mark. So a torero maybe. So Cape crusader is a, um, is a nickname or a, you know, a sort of way to refer to Batman uh, I think very frequently, or maybe superheroes in general, but I think it, I do think it tends to be associated with Batman, but there's a question mark. And so we're not reading it that way. We're not reading it in the most obvious way. I think in this case, it refers to a Torero, a, um, a bullfighter who, you know, famously uses a cape to attract and, uh, the bull. So what, what is this? Oh, baby moon. Is that like a honeymoon? 
Okay, that's new to me. Not 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 quite familiar with that one. Is that you sort of you go on a trip before the baby's born because you won't be able to for a while after that? That must be must be what that's about. First garment, perhaps a onesie, I guess. There we go. So oh, I see. Oh, I see. First garment in the sense of right. You'd wear that very very early in your life. I, I see. Oops. This looks like another garment. A sari. No, it isn't. Who might respond? Mistakenly respond to a statement beginning seriously. Siri, I guess the Apple, Apple assist, sort of phone assistant AI thing. Um, I'm not sure why that is the case. Maybe if you say something nonsensical to Siri, they respond seriously. Oh, I see. Seriously, because Siri is that a pun? Oh, 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 oh! I see. I see. If you say the word seriously, the Siri would hear that and think you're addressing it. I see. Okay. Fine. Uh, that makes sense. Stoically endured misfortune. Took in, took it, point, point on point. Oh, I see. So, uh, on, if, so on point in, I think what this is, what, I think what this is getting at, and there's a question mark here for, as a pun indicator, is that we're referring to on point in the sense of ballet being kind of on toe. So the point that you're on when you're on point is your toe. That's a nice clever clue. So this does look like took it in, took it on, took it on the, oh, what is the phrase here? Took it on the chin? Stoically endured misfortune? I think that's the phrase for that. Emphatic agreement. Yes, I do, maybe. Okay, I hadn't thought of that one, but it looks right. Where the Brahmaputra, oh, right. Okay, it must be Tibet. Great, okay. Tendencies. Oh, bents. You have a if you have a particular bent, you have a particular tendency. You have your your want to do something. You have, you have a you're sort of inclined in that direction. Weaken to sap. Uh, you could weaken somebody. You could sort of sap their energy or sappers, you know, who are underminers in combat who lay explosives and things, tunnel and then lay them underground. They're they're kind of sapping the enemy enemy's defenses. They're weakening them. Okay, Nissan model. Okay, this will be a vehicle of some sort, a car, truck, Nissan. Sentra, I think, is a Nissan. I've heard of that one. That sounds right. Oscar nominee for Iris and Philomena. Uh, Judy Dench? I believe that's right. When I read Philomena, I was hoping it was going to be um, Steve Coogan, because I think he was nominated for the Oscar uh, for screenplay for that for Philip Philomena. And I don't think I've ever seen him clued in the New York Times crossword. Probably won't be, but uh, I would find that fun. He's the portrayer of, of Alan Partridge and was in the, the trip TV show and, and film edits of those as well. Uh, work to overcome a late start. Um... I don't know. I'm not, I don't have any good ideas about this. That's surprising given that... Oh, play catch up. No, I do see. Right. Okay. I was trying to separate these words here, but no, they're, they're, it's, a, it's, a single, it's a single word there. It's a sort of compound word, catch up. Okay. There we go. To play catch up is, is to overcome a late start. So this looks like it could be alley stroker, maybe. Um, this could be a Y or an I. Coming out phrase. Oh, it's an I. Okay, I'm gay. If you're coming out, you're you're, you're sort of revealing your your uh, sexual orientation. And then smitten is enamored. If you're smitten with somebody, you're you're enamored of them. One called to go places. A cat is uh oh cab a cab. You call a cab to go somewhere. Oh, that was easier than I was making it. Take a round trip out oh, to orbit, as in a, a planet around a star. Orbits around it. Takes a round trip. Um, proverbs, for for example, those are you know sayings. The proverb is oft repeated, old bromide or story. Surprising absentee, a no show. Yeah, I suppose I suppose no show does somewhat indicate surprise, effectively. If you say, oh, they're a no-show, that does suggest you, you didn't really expect them to be there. 
palindromic example of onomatopoeia. Oh, well, it's always palindromic clues are always helpful if you've got some crosses because you can simply mirror the crosses you already have. And uh, palindrome, of course, reads identically in either direction. So toot is one such example. And it would be onomatopoeia in the sense of a word that that itself in the saying of it evokes a sound of some of some sort, a sort of nonverbal sound. Dope head. I don't know. I'm not sure I know this phrase. We'll have to come back to it. Stream, e.g. I don't see that either. Blank most slow-mo for slow motion. Oh, I see. Stream to go live. So if you're streaming something on the internet, you could go live to start streaming. This looks like true love. Yes, romantic's quest is true love. So this is the quest of a romantic, of a romantic in this case referring to a person who might self-describe or be, I suppose, be described as a romantic. Well, <laughs> not a romantic as a single word, but a person who is a romantic. All right. Guardians in the box score. Cleveland Guardians? I don't recognize this team. Let's see. Centerpiece of many is still life. Use sheep? No, that's, not, that's not true. Uh, hmm. Oh, a dope head, a stoner. Oh, right. Okay. So someone who's stoned all the time, you could say. Okay. Oh, a ewer as in a jug. A ju right. Okay. So that is indeed the component of many still life paintings, a, you know, water jug, that kind of thing. So then this is, this does look like Cleveland. All right, great. We're on to surplus a plethora of, you have a, you have plenty of these things. You have a plethora of them, a surplus of them. Tuned in, if one tuned in, one, I don't know. Friendly video game setting. Friendly video game setting. Not sure what that's getting at. Easy, oh no, easy mode, I see. Friendly in the sense of the game is not overly difficult or challenging. All right, part of a test. I don't know. Uh, Paese di Napoli. Uh, Paese. Is that, that must be country. Sorry, it's embarrassing that I don't know more Italian than I do, but P-A-Y-S pay, pay, uh, in French is country, so Paese must be country in Italian. Um, so that would be Italia, right? There we go. Okay, I had to do two steps to to solve this one. There we go. Okay. Um, here we have nitty gritty, common phrase, and sound in a clearing is, ahem. I suppose if you're clearing your throat, sort of making that ahem sound. Half of the iconic uh, January 22nd, 1981 Rolling Stone cover. Oh, this must be the photograph of, um, of John Lennon and Yoko Ono, the official a uh, female solo artist of the New York Times crossword, I may add, uh, certainly as much of an honor as this as this iconic Rolling Stone cover. I'm pretty sure I know the the cover they're referencing here, where they're sort of intertwined with one another. That's my guess, anyway. I didn't know it was a Rolling Stone cover specifically, to to be totally honest. But I think that must be what this is. Okay, if one tuned in to something on the radio, for instance, one listened, and part of a test, right? What is this? A sample? Oh, right. It could be a sort of blood test or something, a medical test, that kind of thing. So a, a blood sample, that sort of thing. So then one of a noted septet. Oh, right. Septet, a group of seven. So the seven deadly sins. Memo header could be attention. So to indicate who um, should be seeing this memo. And then first daughter of the 2010s, Malia. So one of the Obamas. And then that's it. <laughs> That was the Saturday crossword and um, and a bit of a, I would say, peaks and valleys in terms of, of trickiness. Not the t toughest Saturday I think I've solved recently, which is, which is nice to be honest. I mean, often it's, often it is nice to have a Saturday that, that isn't brutally difficult and just has little bits of, bits of resistance, but broadly speaking is a, a relatively smooth solve. And, um, and we did have some good bits of misdirection, but also just some, some big long phrases, which I always enjoy, uh, seeing a constructor fit into a grid. So let's see, this is pointless above my pay grade, uh, took it on the chin. I am always impressed to see things like that fit 
in the grid, because those are all extremely, I think, normal sort of idiomatic English phrases. They don't sound tortured to fit into this exact length and, and set of crosses. They, they work very well. So there we have it. And, um, and what else? We did have some nice puns in here. What were some of those? Oh yeah. Point on point is nice. Um, things like that. I'm always surprised I haven't seen before. Um, sound in a clearing is pretty good um, because you think of the sound in the clearing in a forest, but no, nope, it is clearing your throat. So yeah, nice, nice things like that throughout. And of course, that's part of what we like on the part of what I like anyway, in the, uh, the themeless editions of the crossword. Uh, but there you have it. That was the Saturday New York Times uh, themeless crossword by Hong, uh, Hong Kim Vu. I hope you enjoyed it. And I completely forgot to put together <laughs> clues from yesterday's puzzle. So I'm sorry, I'm going to skip that again today. But um, but I will be back tomorrow for the Sunday edition of the crossword jumbo grid, big jumbo themed grid. So do join me for that. But until then, please do have an excellent remainder of your Saturday. Do take care. <laughs>